Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. So this week has been a good week. So first up, I'm going to show you, which is a bit of a funny story. So as a lot of you now know that watch these What Did I Get videos, me and my mum pretty much every week will go to our local charity shops. And we always go in this particular one, we go straight in, we turn left and we go straight to like the bric-a-brac and that's where like the craft stuff is. And my mum just made a beeline to this basket before I was even able to blink and started pulling all of this Tonic Studio stuff out. And I was like, oh my God. And we're like fighting each other to get into this basket. Anyway, she scored big. So none of this has been opened. It's all brand new, still in its packaging, 50p each. And here is just a lovely little ladybird. So you've got the stamp and then the die. So you can cut the frame out or you can just use the die and die cut it in black and in red and you'll have like a solid ladybird so yeah really nice 50p then this one here so you've got the stamp and the die and it's a really nice size the die in there i think these have all come from creating craft because there was a lot of stuff in there by creating craft which wasn't really our style so we kind of left that however these i think were a bundle maybe on the the kind of craft channel but this the u from what i can see because i haven't opened it obviously because it's not mine although i will borrow it is three inches so it's three by one and a quarter so it's a really nice size and the idea is is that you mix these all together so then she picked up the four again exactly the same then the hugs then you've got i is an and really handy and then you've got miss so we were then kind of laughing saying right what can you what can we have then so you've got i i miss you for you hugs for you <laughs> there's just so many different ones and i'm sure there's probably even more to go with this because on the backs here it says look i miss you so we've got the i and we've got the you and then that one is love and hug so that's right yeah we've got that i love you we've got for you i've said and then you've got love is and all those kind of things so i thought they were brilliant so yeah she paid 50p each for those which is a bargain as you know for tonic studios and then the ladybird and then also there was this here so this is the sheena douglas or sheena by sheena douglas and this is the grey rubber so you've got to make these yourself but it's really cute so you've got the fairy here and there's the stamps but then you've got the die set to cut it out and I like that it's got the wings so again this is my mum's but that was a pound and a pound so two quid for that stamp and die set and you can see they're really nice sizes and um, yeah they're real kind of whimsical images so they're again bargain then this one here you get three but they're just really unusual well, they're not the kind of flowers you see all the time. So you've got the bluebells. So there's the stamp. Look how big the leaf is. It's really large. And then you just make it all up. They, re they do. They stamp really nice. I've had these kind of stamps before. So there's that one. Then this one here, you've got the lily. Again, if I flick that one over. Just huge. And they're very easy to cut out. Nice big leaves there. And then you've got a couple of sentiments. Lily, hope and faith. And that one just says bluebells on the side. And then this one here is, oh gosh, I can't even pronounce that. Anemone? Anemone? Why have I never heard that before? I thought I was quite all right with my flowers. Anemone. Anemone? Anemone. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are shouting at the screen now saying, Sam, you totally killed that word. Anyway, I'm sorry. But look how lovely and big the blooms are there so yeah and there's other ones in the collections this was a pack of three so it's those three at the top but then you've also got pansy that would have been a nice one to have and the poppy and the sweet william in fact those three at the bottom are probably some of my favorite flowers so if i'd seen that one i would have snatched it from her hand so <laughs> but you can see how you can make them up they are beautiful really really nice but i might have a look out for them because i didn't i've never seen those ones and i Again, in the past, I've said I'd really like a nice poppy stamp. I have some, but I'm not 100% with them. But that one there looks quite nice. And I know if they're anything like this, they're nice and big. So anyway, those three there were a pound. 
And then she's also grabbed this one, which is the Desire range by Crafters, um, by Crafters Companion. It's 50p, and this is the Happily Ever After, and it cuts so that the top of the Happily, half of it, is hanging off the top of the card, and then this is cut into the card, and it's one of their edgeables. You can see it there again, not even been opened. So that would look nice running down the side of the card, I imagine, or unless you've got... Yeah, you would, unless you've got a large 8x8, eight because eight, that's quite a long die. So I guess it can go along the top of an 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, it's 7.5. Otherwise, I'd have it running down the side. I think that would look quite nice. So, yeah, she's got that one. I managed to grab these, so I've got something. She had all that in her hand laughing. But these are the Craftwork cards. And they're really cute. You've got... You can put them in shakers, but the idea is... They're just little paper discs that you just add adhesive to. There's loads in there because they're all kind of sandwiched amongst each other. And it's just another alternative to using like Nouveau drops and stuff, but you can add glitters over these and things like that. But if you type in candy, craft candy or craft work cards candy, you'll get loads. They do all kinds of styles and they do sparkly ones and everything. But yeah, they were 50p each, so I got them. And then I grabbed the paper because as you know, I go through tons and tons of paper. So they had this wad here for £1.50 and it's really nice quality so I've got some vellum tracing paper it's very thick actually so I've got quite a few sheets of that that is solid real thick that is lovely so that's gonna be nice to stamp on because some of the the vellum that I've got is very thin this is really really strong then I've got look at this loved that Again, don't know where it's from, but if anybody knows, I've got a feeling it's again one of these packs that they get from the ladies bought from Crafters Companion. So look, all that, but it's slightly different. So look, you've got the rainbow. And again, these are going to make lovely like gift card and um, gift bag fronts and obviously perfect mats and layers. But it's all matte, it's not shiny, but it's thick. That is about 200, 250 plus. It's a real nice weight card stock. That's a card blank card stock. So that one, along with this vellum. Oh, I didn't realise it was blue. So I've got blue vellum. Again, the same weight as the white or cream. And then just this random, it's a bit grubby. That's probably just what they used just to kind of keep it all in place. So I'll, I'll use that for backing something. But um, yeah, look at all that. Really lovely cardstock there. And then as I was paying, I saw this in the cabinet and it was £1.50. And look at it, it's like a resin casing like on the top. And then inside, it's almost like kind of a bit mother of pearly, I guess, but very, very me. So I thought I'd put that on for the video. And then also I've purchased this stuff here. So this is from our new home bargain store that's opened. I've seen lots of people share things that they buy, craft related items from home bargains, but we've never had one close by. So I was really uh, quite pleased to hear that one had opened up. So I went there with my friend the other day and I wasn't that blown away by the kind of craft department, but I guess until they know what kind of, what kind of stuff's gonna sell in that store, then maybe we'll get some more stuff over time. But there was no like paper pads and things like that that I've seen people sharing. However, when I went to majority of this is from the wedding section so I'll show you what I've got so I picked up these which is it's always nice to get the craft card so the card blanks and envelopes so it was a 10 pack and these were I think 79p so and they're they're really strong I mean I did take one out and these when I hold this card up to my 300 GSM craft card that I have it's the same weight this is a very you can see it's a, just a super strong card so that's going to look lovely and it's given me the inspiration to make some kind of shabby chic wedding cards so I will be doing that shortly but I also like these for more masculine style cards and just for any cards really I just love using craft card I did go through a phase last year I think everything I was making was in craft cards. So I haven't really gone to it for a while. So it's certainly something I'll be revisiting. So I picked up two of the five by seven size and two of the six by six. So I've got 20 of each um, and then yeah, they won't last long at all. They'll soon be gone. Yeah, so that was from the craft section along with this twine. Now I don't have these really kind of more lighter colors and I love that they were on the wooden spool. And again, this, I've fr thrown my receipt away now, but these were, this was cheap. This whole thing was under a pound. I'm pretty sure it was under a pound or it was a pound. You can see there, I'll get rid of the packaging now but they also look nice to display a lot of you again who follow me you know I like everything on show so my craft room is a little bit like a shop <laughs> everything is exposed because that way I see it and it 
it feels nice and it, it, it and it inspires me so yeah these ones would just be added to my other ones but I like that they're on those little wooden spools so I think that looks cute and they're great colours as well then I picked up this one here, sentiments, you can never have enough sentiment stamps, I, I love sentiment stamps and I thought these were really nice, especially that lovely happy birthday, so I like that you have that kind of area where it will all be a colour of your choice, you know, with whatever you ink it with and then the happy birthday will shine through, the same with the thank you, the hello you and the good luck, they've got that same style, then this one was nice because it's a longer style sentiment, wishing you the best you got celebrate and then love so there's something there for everything and I thought that was really good and again this was 69p or 79p and I was like you can't not buy it for that price it's just a bargain uh, yeah they are they're silicon ones I believe I wouldn't expect them to be photopolymer for that price but um, you should still get a good impression with them and as I always say whenever you get something new some people like to use a rubber or an eraser over the top. I just rub them with my hand because there will be a film, some kind of like a, a chemical residue left on the stamps from where they come through the factory. So usually if you stamp these first off without kind of prepping them, you might not get a good first impression. So some people like to buff them up. You can use, I've seen people use, and I have, I've roughed them ever so slightly with a nail file and you just brush over the top it's better on something like this, I wouldn't use this, this technique on something that's very delicate but it, by just roughing it up and you can see why it works because it now gives the ink something to stick to but I just usually just kind of rub over it with my, my hand there, it seems to work so again you'll see them pop up on gift bags and cards and things like that that I make but it's always handy to have some nice sentiment stamps then I picked up these ones, I do have some silver kind of coloured ones but these are again more shabby chic and this was in the wedding section and these are the love letters you get 63 self adhesive letters and I thought they're great for my scrapbooking yeah maybe I probably should have got two packs of these again I want to say they were like 79p or something like that they were pretty pretty cheap so I should have maybe got two packs of them but anyway I'm sure they'll be there again I got them and then this is also from the wedding section so I picked up this here so they this is some beautiful binding is what they've got it titled as you get three meters but what I liked about this and what I plan to do when I make the cards is see it's really nice you've got that lovely pretty trim and then I picked up this one here which again just says beautiful binding but it's like a burlap like a hessian and then with this one I'm hoping it should fit yeah nicely over the top now I can see why they put this in the wedding section because I guess what people tend to do is if they've got like glass little jars they wrap it around and add bows and stuff like that that's not what I'll do but I'll probably wrap this around a card and then if you imagine you've got your stamp there you could have happy birthday stamped and stuck over the top have lots of flowers coming out and it will look really really pretty so yeah I'm looking forward to using that you get three meters of each which is is plenty for me because it's not something I use all the time but it is something nice to try and um, yeah we'll give a different look to my cards so yeah bargain and then I picked up these and the reason I grabbed these ones I've got two packs of each is because they are just your flat discs so these are, conf are glitter confetti just taking a few out but you can see there, they are just discs. There's no holes in them or anything. It's quite rare to find that. You can buy these through some suppliers, but they can be very expensive. But these ones here, again, I should have kept the receipt. They were a pound or under. They want anything more than that. But they're just really, really pretty. Now, if I wanted to, I could go through and pull out, you know, the glitter ones and leave the the bronzy coloured ones there or goldy coloured ones yeah it's a golden bronze in that mix but I just thought they were beautiful but yeah that's the like I said the golden bronze mix and then this is the silver mix and you can see there it's just gorgeous really nice and because they're so flat you can put loads of these into a shaker card and they will really you know freely kind of move around and uh, yeah I just think they're lovely really really pleased with them again I should have probably bought loads because it's something that these are timeless things these are things I use you know years later now this one here I've been wanting to do for ages but I don't want to buy the expensive sponges these here are well, it just says aqua soft bath sponge but they're just plastic but I've got one I've already done it I've already um used them and they work brilliantly I want to say these were 45p each so I picked up two and all I've done with this one here so I've already put them in this jar is cut the whole thing in half then in half again and then in half again and that way you've got enough sponges there for different coloured inks so you don't have to do that but that's what I've done to kind of maximise 
you know, the sponges that I've got here. To be fair though, the ones that I did use when I cleaned them, they completely cleaned off perfectly. But I guess, you know, if you're going to be crafting with friends or with children and things like that, then it's quite nice to have multiples, but they will all sit in there now quite easily. Okay, again, I like things on show. So I picked this up, this was cheap as well. But then when I got home, the lid had smashed, so I was a little bit annoyed, but it doesn't matter if the lid's on there or not. But I thought it was cute. And this was a pound, I think. So again, super, super cheap. So what I'm trying to create here, um, is this effect and it's a brilliant bubble background and it works great for again any kind of underwater themed cards that you may be doing I have a really nice stamp with a lady in the bathtub and I thought that background would look great because she's got bubbles all around her in the bath and then to have that bubble effect if I bring it up a bit more can you see so it's quite subtle but it's a really fun technique and you can actually add different colors to it so I'm just going to show you and I use a more vibrant colour so it picks up well on camera. So this is the Distress Oxide Barn Door. You don't have to use Distress Oxides, it's just they're the inks that I have on hand and I use the most. And then on one of the flat sides, it works best if you use a flat side of the sponge. So you can see there I've got that, that flat edge. Ink it up so you're going to see the pattern that you're going to kind of get and then just kind of push it down. You don't have to be too, like, you know, precise with it. But it's just a really fun technique for anybody that likes doing mixed media, who likes to do the, you know, junk journals, art journals. It's a really, really fun kind of texture and pattern to add. So, and also this will work nice if you've got any kind of tree kind of stamps. So instead of using the actual foliage stamp that they put with it, you could have this in green there and that could become the top of your tree. So there's, you know, there's lots of different ways to use these but yeah I just again it's just finding different materials to create different effects with our card making and stuff but I think they look really really good so yeah that's why I picked them up okay and I also got this ribbon here which I picked up from Tiger or Flying Tiger and it was a pound for five meters but it's a red velvet and it's a really lovely quality thick velvet and again I've got Christmas commissions coming in now and yeah we do start to think about Christmas crafting now especially if we're doing you know fairs craft fairs and things like that but I just thought this was really nice and it's I think this is about a quarter of an inch was it half no it's half an inch so yeah it's just a really nice really nice ribbon I thought so yeah I picked up two of those because again I am a classic red green gold or red green and silver kind of girl when it comes to Christmas I do like my traditional colors so yep got those ones then I picked up these two things which I guess are a little bit random but certainly things that sometimes when I'm making whether it be a box or maybe a certain kind of interactive card I sometimes think oh I wish I had like a little bit of stick or just something and the pound shop have got this Crayola uh, range in there now and this one here you get so you get the two strips of the lollipop sticks for a pound so there's loads in there was well, a hundred and then these here are just your little match sticks and then after I was in the pound shop I then went into Hobbycraft because they're next door to each other and Hobbycraft have the exact same stuff exactly the same colors the same rainbow but in their packaging and they're selling these for one pound twenty and one row of these lollipop sticks for one pound so go to the pound shop and get it. If you see it in Hobbycraft, if you've only got Hobbycraft available, then fine, it's not the end of the world. But if you've got the Poundland, go to Poundland because you get double that for less the price and you get more, you know, you get the same for a pound and not one pound 20. So there's only a 20p difference there, but it all counts. But yeah, I just think they're gonna be, I have some ideas for things and now I've got these colorful lollipop sticks. It's gonna be a lot better than the wooden ones. So if you do have wooden lollipop sticks, that's not a problem you can color them and you can also heat emboss them and things like that but I do have a couple of fun ideas to use with these so watch this space then I was also again in the pound shop I picked up these I hadn't seen these ones before and they've just got a really nice kind of like just a really subtle like sagey kind of green color and then that's like a real nice light blue and they're 3d I'll just take them off there you can see them a bit better they're on foam pads but there's two layers to them so they've they've got a real nice dimension to them you can obviously I can take the foam pads off and just glue in the center there and have it kind of lifted but I just again you know I love butterflies I am a little bit obsessed I do have tons of butterflies so 
so I got them and then this one I just thought was really nice and it's actually for the splash I do have some really fun photographs from holidays things when I'm in the swimming pool and I just think that word splash is just going to really pop on a layout you've got sun kissed a perfect day summer is a state of the mind summer is a state of mind hello sunshine oh hello summer sorry oh summer yeah Summer is the state of mind. Why is it sometimes you look at summer and it doesn't make sense, but it makes complete sense? So, yeah, I thought they were quite cute. The flamingo's a bit off there, but I think it's just because the cardboard's fallen behind. But, um, yeah, I do have something about them. I just thought, like I said, it was mainly the splash there. I thought that was really cool. And then I grabbed some more pom-poms. Again, it was from the Crayola section in, the pound, in Poundland. I hadn't seen this Crayola before, so I don't know if that's something new that they've, you know, they've brought in. But anyway... But again, it was mainly for the red, the green, kind of the white there for Christmas projects. They're nice to finish off and decorate. They're nice when you're doing like wrapping and things like that. So yeah, that's why I've got those. Then also when I was in Hobbycraft, I picked up these metal rings and I think they were a pound and there's 20 in each. But again, I do have some ideas for these. So if you do have these rings, then great. They are like your key ring rings. So you can just kind of take one out here. They're those ones when they're like kind of split on both sides. Can you see? Let me get rid of that one there. You can see they're that style. So you can, obviously we can lock them in like so if we want to but I just thought for the amount you get 20 for a pound or pound 20 I didn't think that was uh, too bad at all so yeah I picked up two bags of those a lot of you know I do design for some of the magazines now which is brilliant and one of the perks along with that is that they also send you the magazines that you feature in so this one here I didn't but the reason I want to share this one so we'll do that talk about that one first so this is the creative stamping issue 72 and I love any kind of like animal stamps and I don't really own a lot of bird stamps and this one is collaborated with the RSPB and they have done this coastal bird stamp and it is just brilliant and on here you will see all these different birds and they're just it's just different to what you usually get so let me just take the packaging off here make a glare but you can see there they're really nice there it is you know they're not too dark so you'll be able to color these really nicely which i like and i'm actually going to be using some of these to make my dad's father's day card which you would have probably already seen before this video goes up and then as always creative stamping every issue you get an a4 stamp sheet and you look at what you get it's lovely i love the beach huts here in a row you've got your deck chairs You've got the lighthouse and the rock, which is kind of a classic image. A lot of people do that when they do nautical stamps. But I like that you've got these kind of, it's almost like the, the wood poking out of the sea or like the driftwood pieces. But I've got an idea to have like the birds sitting on the top. You've got the nice horizon there. You've got the sun setting. Then you've got little things here, the beach, you've got the kite, you've got rocks, a shell, a lady just relaxing there on the beach. And then I like the sentiment. So that happy birthday is, I think a lot of the magazines I see do that font. I've got a few like that now, but you've got spread your wings, friend. But I like this one, nothing soothes the soul like a walk on the beach. And living by the seaside, it's very true. Yeah, it's just a really nice one. Always great value for money. The inspiration in this month is really good as well. And uh, yeah, that's the magazine. So I'm not going to flick through it because I, I don't tend to because I think it's nice for people to, you know, wait till they receive it themselves. But again, I will link all this in. These two here I got sent because I actually have done some cards for both of these. So this one here is Papercraft Essentials issue 175. Should pop that one over there for a minute. And the free gift in this one is gorgeous. It really is. This is an 8x8 kit by Craftwork Cards. And everything here is on a, it's almost like a 350 plus GSM card. It's almost borderline, like gray board kind of, you know, territory, it's thick. So you've got all these pre die cut little images here. So you've got the hot air balloon and like these ones pop out and they're like little kind of, almost a little bit like a snowflake shape. And that one there is a flower. So you can obviously layer them up. So you get quite a few of those. Then you get these lovely sentiments. I thought they were stickers, but they're not. They are, again, you just pop them out and they are really thick cardstock. And then these are all of your other sentiments and images. So again, it's all pre die cut card pieces. And again, they are super thick. So it's such a nice quality piece. And it's just got that kind of, 
it's, it's a little bit kind of like a, a circus kind of font and it's got a bit of that kind of feel to it but it's just really nice and then you've got these butterflies I love butterflies then you've got bunting and you've got again these nice big toppers I think you get two of each sheet and then you've got these here to put sentiments and things on so they're all like your little borders and banners and balloons and then you get all these papers and the amount of papers you get here that is a paper pack that's what you would just buy in a shop there are tons here I wonder if it actually does say so you get 24 pattern papers 24 that's so good 26 die cut sentiments, 22 die cut butterflies, 20 die cut flowers, 12 die cut balloons, 4 die cut toppers, then 32 foiled sentiments, 26 die cut banners, 24 die cut bunting and 8 die cut hearts. You get so much in this and for the price of £5.99 it's brilliant and I, there are, I mean Papercraft Essentials they do always do free gifts along with creative stamping they are my two kind of go-to along with making cards so yeah they are they are good so this is what you get you've got the hot air balloon you've got this one here it's a cool print i like this one because you could just cut here and have that on like a five by seven card and you could cut along there and have that as a trim or a border on something else then you've got so that's those ones Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Really, really nice. I like the kind of sunburst there and then the hot air balloons. So again, four of them. Then you've got those really nice feathers and then it finishes with that one there. Really, really, I did not expect, because obviously a lot of the time I see this just via social media or you'll see it on a website, but until you actually get it, I just didn't realise just how many papers there are here. So I'm so excited. I'm going to make some really nice cards with that and I will share them all as well so you'll be able to see what I make. But yeah, Flying High Craftwork Cards 8x8 collection. And that's my feature. So I've at the moment I'm doing the Shape Up features. So just different shaped, styled cards. So I was asked to do some easel cards. So those are the ones that I've done there. So yeah, really, really good. But there's, like I said, tons of inspiration. The cards with this kit are gorgeous so I can't wait to make some of those okay and this is the hunky dory card making collection so this is a bumper pack they always are when you find them in these boxes so this retails at 12.99 but it's really good value for money so in here you get this stamp set I just bring in this here so you can see there what you get I love the lady carrying all those kind of like hat boxes You've got this kind of spray of flowers which I used on one of the cards that I made and then you've got all these lovely little kind of like box there you've got little sentiments you're fabulous birthdays are made for shopping sent with love you've got the Eiffel Tower there and a handbag so they're really really pretty sweet stamps so that one there and then you get this embossing folder and I embossed this on silver cardstock I believe and it came out beautifully it was really really nice you get that one and then the dye which is lovely which is a little perfume bottle and you can use that frame there I use the frame to cut out these sentiments here it fits really nicely and then obviously you can have those again those sentiments within that perfume bottle but it's got such a nice look to it you can see there how that one looks so you get those three pieces then you get the magazine which has got 75 stylish designs and then you get the kit and there is just so much in this. Okay so in here you get, because you've got three, three different collections so let me get these right. Yes yeah, so you've got the Parisian so you get your topper sheet so you've got this one here it's all adorable scorable so that's the Eiffel Tower, that's the one that I created cards with. Then you've got the lady there, which is really cool. Then you've got your papers. So you get this one, I loved this one, I used that one, it was beautiful. Then you've got your inserts there. And again, they all match that one. And there's the lady. And there's your four different card blanks. So you've got the Eiffel Tower, again, the lady there carrying her hat boxes. You've got the two torsos and the bicycle again. So that's the Parisian. And then you have, I think it's three collections actually. Yeah, it is. So then you've got Fashionista, or maybe that is it. No, it's Parisian and Fashionista, I think. So yeah, so there's your one there to go with the, the die, the 
perfume bottle dye and that's your other topper there I love those glasses you got that lovely umbrella and then again you've got your inserts and the glasses you've got the handbag and the umbrella and then you've got your card blanks so again that one. I love the colours they chose and that one and then there's the papers if you like your matting and layering so you've got those two so there is so much in this you always have papers left over you know they say that you can get this much made from it but there's always more so yeah you get so much in that so that's 12.99 for that one my cards i think they're all together yeah i was asked to do wedding anniversary cards engagement cards that kind of thing so you can see there the the sweet wishes one that i done so that was a six by six and you can see that a lovely that was that spray of flowers but i heat embossed it so that looked really pretty and then these cards here just using the the kind of the decoupage there and that was a, a z fold card again really pretty so yeah there is so much in this magazine the like i said the cards are always really pretty and there's my one on the front it made it to the front cover so i was quite chuffed with that one as well okay so that's everything so i've got a real nice kind of mix of things this week but i think mum's come out trumps with all of these dyes that she's found so yeah as always i will try and link as much as i can or even try and find these i'd be interested to know how much they are or were and if they're still available and things so yeah that's it for today so i hope you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up as always and i'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye